Good morning, Seawolves, and welcome to Newsbreak. I'm Raya Habibola. And I'm Angelina Zingarello. As the BA2 COVID variant infects more people in California and the rest of the country, the XE variant is raising concern. Early reports show it to be 10% more transmissible than BA2. Researchers don't yet know the potential of the new variant. The British government says it needs more data to identify trends on XE. So, so far, there are only three reported cases in the United States. Scientists have yet to see if the variant will fade out or become worse. The Biden administration is extending mask mandates on public transportation to May 3rd as the Centers for Disease Control monitors the spread of Omicron and the BA2 subvariant. Administration officials said on Wednesday that the number of confirmed cases has been rising since the beginning of the month. The CDC is defending the order despite requests from airlines to drop mask and testing requirements. Each mandate extension is getting shorter than the last, with this latest one only covering a 15-day period. Let's turn to John Neary to give us a rundown on last week's street events. How's it going, John? What's up, John? Spring is finally here and the campus is alive as ever. Spring last week, the FSA been. held a street fair here outside the SAC. Here are some of the highlights of that event. The Stony Brook Faculty Student Association held a street fair in collaboration with the Environmental Club outside the SAC on Wednesday, March 30th. The focus of the fair was to highlight the importance of environmental sustainability. Patrons could engage in activities, enjoy music and food, and talk to vendors of a variety of eco-friendly products. The weather was beautiful, and a lot of education and fun was experienced. Some tables even donated their proceeds to a greater cause. The fair was scheduled from 12 to 2.30. The event seemed to start early and end late as there was a constant population of people looking to get out and be festive. With so much to do, this came at no surprise. The organizers, clubs, and businesses involved were all happy to be there and send their message. With the Stony Brook mask mandate lifted, spirits are up as campus events are feeling more natural again. The SSC is looking forward to hosting a week-long event at the end of April called Earthstock, where similar clubs and vendors will be present. Last week at Eastside Dining, Daniela Rodriguez was reporting on the FSA Popcorn Flavor Shaker event. Here's how that went down. Good afternoon, Seawolves. Today we are here at Eastside Dining where students are breaking free from loads of schoolwork and are enjoying customizing their own popcorn snacks hosted by the Faculty Student Association. Some of the popcorn flavors offered included chocolate syrup, everything but the bagel seasoning, Caribbean jerk seasoning, chipotle barbecue, or if you wanted to keep it simple, you could stick with the original buttered popcorn. SDU Eats marketing intern Arbaz Khan provided insight into the planning of this event. Today we are having a popcorn uh, pop-up. It's, it's, it's part of a weekly event where we give out uh, food to students, something different, you know, something exciting. And they always have it guessing on what they want. We get feedback from the students and uh, we implement them as soon as possible. Stony Brook students enjoyed the popcorn event. George Nakwa, known as the dodgeball champion, shared his flavor shaker experience and it reminded him of something that he truly enjoys doing. The popcorn made me feel a bit loose. You know, popcorn reminds me of fun, reminds me of movies, movies are fun, and that's what this popcorn did to me. Engineering major Jose Velez also had something to say. It makes me feel more relaxed, honestly, because he, like he said, it reminds me of movies and like, I don't know, I like to relax during movies, stay calm, you know, chill. The event was a huge success and it even inspired Nakwa's and Velez's weekend plans. You want to go and see Batman later? I don't want to go and see Batman right, let's go see Batman. Today's event was a huge success. If you'd like to learn more about future events hosted by the FSA, follow them on social media at SBU FSA and SBU underscore eats. Reporting from Eastside Dining, I'm Danielle Rodriguez. Have a great day, Seawolves. That's all from me. Back to the studio, I'm John Neary.
Princess of Pop, Britney Spears, is pregnant. This is a huge milestone for her, as well as the Free Britney movement. The vocal group of supporters was created to help the star get out of her 13-year conservatorship, which ended in 2021. Spears was barred from growing her family by getting pregnant during the conservatorship when she was under the control of her father. The news created a huge frenzy in the media, trending on Twitter this week. And that's all for this edition of Stony Brook Newsbreak. I'm Angelina Zingarello. And I'm Raya Habibola. Have a great day, Seawolves.